Hello friends, welcome to Java Tricky program series. So let's see what we have for today. So here we have this class cat where I have this static method meow and it's just printing meow. And then I have this class munchkin which is extending cat and here also I have the same method meow and that is also static. Then I'm having this public class cat util with main method where I'm saying cat kitty is equal to new cat and cat munch is equal to new munchkin and then I am calling the meow methods. So this, so what will be the output when I will run this program? So on a first look it looks like a case of overriding where I am overriding this meow method of cat in munchkin and in the runtime uh, this kitty is instance of cat and uh, munch is instance of munchkin. So this should print meow and the munch dot meow should print yawn so let's just run this program and find out what is actually printing so if i run this program i can see that it's actually printing meow meow so what it means that the method from cat is actually being called twice in both the cases here so why it is behaving like that so the reason for that is the static keyword. So because of this, these methods belongs to the class. And here, actually, when the Java compiler is compiling this class, it's actually replacing it to cat class since it's a static method. So you can think of it something like cat.meow and here also cat dot meow and hence two calls are made to this meow method and we get the output as meow meow so to confirm this theory let's just look at this class file of this cat util dot java so for that i'll open my jdgy compiler and then I'll open that cat util class. So here this is my project and here is the class. So if I open it, it's showing that it has been replaced with cat class, not the object variables. So the output is very clear. So if you want to fix this and utilize the over override feature then we will have to remove this static and then if I run this I'll get meow and yawn and in this scenario it's always a best practice to mark it with override annotation so that if something changes in the superclass method you will get compiler time error so you can fix it yeah thank you thanks all for watching bye bye